Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 10, Deuteronomy 17 through Joshua 4, From Witnesses to Crossing the Jordan. In Deuteronomy 17, how many witnesses were necessary for a capital crime? Why were witnesses required to also be executioners? How were undecided lower court cases handled? What would be the purpose in a king writing out his own copy of the Bible? In Deuteronomy 18, how were the Levites to be cared for? What specific occult practices were forbidden? Who should Israel listen to instead of sorcerers? How could they discern a false prophet? In Deuteronomy 19, what were the rules for the cities of refuge? What was to happen to false witnesses? In Deuteronomy 20, what were the rules for going to war? Who was excused from military service? What was the reason for completely destroying the enemy? In Deuteronomy 21, what was the right for an unsolved murder? What was required before marriage between an Israelite and a woman from the enemy's side? How was the right of a firstborn child to an unloved wife upheld? What was the punishment for teenage rebellion? How often was this probably carried out in reality? What law related to Jesus' death? In Deuteronomy 22, what were the laws of lost property? Cross-dressing, bird's nests, rooftop safety, mixed seeds, unequal yokes, mixed fabrics, and tassels. What were the laws of proof of virginity, adultery, and rape? In Deuteronomy 23, what were the laws of castration, forbidden marriages, Ammonites, Moabites, Egyptians, wet dreams, waste disposal, runaway slaves, ritual prostitution, pledges, and eating a neighbor's crop. In Deuteronomy 24, what are the laws of remarriage, military service during the honeymoon year, collateral, kidnapping for slavery, quarantine, daily wages, foreigners, orphans, widows, and harvesting. In Deuteronomy 25, what are the laws of court cases? Muzzling oxen, leveret marriages, family brawls, crooked weighing machines, and Amalek. In Deuteronomy 26, what are the laws of first fruits and the third year tithe? What pledge was Israel to make? In Deuteronomy 27, what was to be set up on Mount Ebal? Where did the rite of the blessings and cursings take place? The distance between the two mounts was a little over two miles, not quite four kilometers. Deuteronomy 28 continues the rite. What national blessings and cursings would God send? Does God hold modern nations to similar standards? In Deuteronomy 29, what covenant did God promise Israel? In Deuteronomy 30, how would Israel's prosperity be restored after a period of national punishment? Is modern politics relevant to this discussion? When God set before Israel life and death, blessings and cursings, what did he mean? In Deuteronomy 31, how did God encourage the next national leader? What was to be read at sacred assemblies? What was prophesied? In Deuteronomy 32, what can we learn from Moses' song? What reasons did God give that Moses could not enter the land? In Deuteronomy 33, what blessings did Moses pronounce on each tribe? In Deuteronomy 34, what is Moses' status among the prophets of Israel? What gift did the Holy Spirit give to Joshua? In Joshua 1, what did God say to encourage Joshua? What did the two and a half tribes say? In Joshua 2, Shittim means the acacias. In North America, familiar acacia trees are the eastern redbud and the black locust. How was Rahab's choice between two evils the better one? In Joshua 3, how did Israel cross the Jordan? In Joshua 4, what did the monument mean? What did they do with the ark? Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, God bless you.